Hi, welcome on to Arsenal Fan TV, and this is the aftermath. Well, what can I say? Another very, very disappointing result by Arsenal, drawing only 1 1 with Norwich in a game that we really needed to win. Out of the past two games, West Brom and Norwich, it's not a foregone conclusion that you're going to go to both places because they're both away from home and get results, but. I would have hoped for a minimum of four points. So if we'd have got a draw yesterday and won last week or got a draw last week and won this week, I would have been satisfied. But to only get one point out of a possible six against the calibre of teams, no disrespect of Norwich and West Brom, is very, very disappointing. And even more disappointing is the injuries. Yet another, well, not one injury, three injuries to absolute key players yesterday. Last week, we lost Coquelin, right? Didn't think it could get any worse. Well, it did. Our best defender's gone now, Koscielny. Our best striker or, or forward player's gone now, Alexis Sanchez. One of our best and most creative midfielders, Santi Corzola. It's an absolute disaster at the moment with injuries. And who do you blame? Is it just bad luck? Or is it down to the medical team? Or is it down to the manager? And I'll tell you what, at the moment, when I'm looking at certain things, a lot of the blame has to go to the manager, Arsene Wenger. Why was Alexis Sanchez playing? We knew that um, he had this niggle with his hamstring. All right, I know that we're very, very short on players at the moment. And ordinarily, if we had everybody fit, uh, Alexis Sanchez wouldn't have played yesterday. I've got no doubt in that. But still to risk him when we've got that big game against Olympiakos, Coming up, I would have rested him. There's other players he could have brought in for the game against Norwich. As somebody said in the interviews yesterday, the 11 players that we've got should be able to beat Norwich, even without Alexis. We haven't done that, and we've paid a big, big price. And I'm really starting to wonder. I mean, Arsene Wenger's handling of the injury situation has been very poor. I mean, where's Theo Walcott? We was told that he's coming back after the international break. Where is he? Right? He's not even back in training yet. You know, it's we, we went into this season and basically we gambled. We gambled on players like Welbeck being fit. Well, we haven't seen Welbeck since last year. You know, these are the gambles that Arsene Wenger has taken. If they come off, you're a genius. If they don't come off, it's your fault, Arsene. As simple as that. And, you know, nobody else to me can take the blame in this. I mean, listen... Injuries happen, you get unlucky, but to leave the squad where you've got no backup, you know, to Coughlin, no backup that's on the same level that if Coughlin's out for a long period of time, you know that you're safe and secure with the backup. He hasn't done that. He did the same last season with the centre-back situation. He's done the same this year with the Coughlin situation. And now Alexis is out, Sani Cozola's out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right? if you put together an injured 11 right now, right, and you put together the 11 that we've got, the injured 11 is far superior to the starting 11. That's how bad things are, right? Check out that injured 11 if you don't believe me. Santa Cazola, Alexis Sanchez, Theo Walcott, Welbeck, <laughs> Coquelin, you know, it would beat the team that we've got out there right now. Koscielny, <laughs> Gibbs. Oh my God, I'll tell you what, it's laughable right now. We are not going to win the title if we get this amount of injuries, if this keeps going on, forget the title. Right now, we are lucky, 100% lucky that all the teams around us are not performing. We're lucky that Chelsea are having a, such a bad season. We're lucky that at the weekend, Manchester United could only get a draw away at Leicester. We're lucky because they're so poor. We're lucky that even City are not really firing at the moment. And I, I know when you look at the weekend's results, you have to take into account, if you look at a lot of the teams that play Champions League football, the teams that had to go away from home, like us and like United, got poor results, only got draws. Uh, you know, Chelsea only got a draw. So to go after a Champions League game is always very difficult. But we are lucky that everybody else is not performing around us. And even the teams that have started to perform, like Liverpool, they're a bit further back from us. We've had a little bit of a head start. If not, we'd be in dire straits right now. We just got to get a couple of victories, survive up until Christmas. Then in that January transfer window, Arsene Wenger cannot mess about. He can't be talking about 
oh, I've got Jack Wilshire coming back or I've got Thomas Rizicki coming back. We can't bank on these players. We need to get some new players in. It's a real crisis at the moment. Crisis at Arsenal. Uh, let's see what you guys have to say. Let's see if you're feeling the same way I am or maybe you're a bit more upbeat on the whole situation. Uh, let's find out right now. Uh, Ticker Taka Will says, if Wenger knew Alexis wasn't fit, why did he risk him? He really has become an incompetent manager. Chris says, bad performance and the injuries are going to ruin our season. We can't have nine players injured in the Christmas, pe in the Christmas period. Ahmed El Hadi says, uh, like your interviews, always spot on. Our players don't believe we can win and that's why we won't win it. Simple. Ant says, uh, the man who's responsible for everything that's gone wrong at Arsenal and it is only Arsene Wenger. Until he leaves, we will never win the league. Oh, harsh. Uh, Rafael Deletto Ghetto says, uh, everyone talks about squad depth. Even if we had it, he said, it wouldn't matter because injuries would rule them out anyway. <laughs> oh, it's laughable. Uh, Mitch Garosha says, uh, to many fans, have a cry. We can't win every game. The staff told Wenger he is fit. Even City struggle without top quality. That is true. Even City do struggle without top, top quality. But why are we throwing it away at the moment? Hassan says, you get what you plan for. Poor transfer window, poor fitness record, poor fitness record leads to poor result. Dylan Henless, Hensel says, shocked, he says. We started decent after Urza's goal. We just did nothing for the next 60 minutes. Yet again, injuries weigh us down. Marco Leo says, uh, same old, same old. With the Christmas period coming, things will only get worse on the injury front. I'm extremely worried. Uh, Vikesh Palmer says, uh, signings aren't our problem. Barca and Real Madrid would struggle without 10 first-team players and medical staff needs to be looked at. That's true. Even Barcelona, even Bayern Munich, even Real Madrid would struggle if they had 10 of their best players missing. Any team would struggle. and But we've had this problem for years, so why have we not addressed it? Atul also says, I can't blame Wenger for not resting Alexis, but I honestly feel that Koscielny and Santi Cazola and other injuries were quite unlucky. Sorry, he said, I can blame Wenger for not resting Alexis, but he doesn't blame him for Koscielny and Santi Cazola. He says, that's just unlucky. And Tom says, once Sanchez went off injured, our goal threat completely disappeared. Couldn't think of one good chance after he came off. And that's the worrying thing. We've got to go to Olympiacos and win by two clear goals. Giroud yesterday was absolutely useless, non-existent yesterday. Um, we need to get Theo Walcott back, but when is he coming back? It's a mess at the moment. It's a crisis. The players that are left at the moment need to stand up as well. That's the other thing. They need to stand up. I didn't see any player there yesterday really trying to take the game by the scruff of the net. Maybe perhaps Alex Oxley chamberlain when he came on, he tried to make something happen. But everybody else was just totting it along. I mean, this is Norwich City we're playing. I mean, up until when we scored the first goal, I was looking at Norwich and I was like, they're poor. We've got to batter this team today. But we let them back into the game. And really, Norwich were the ones that wanted it more. They were more determined. They won every 50-50. They were more dynamic. It was a very, very poor performance by Arsenal. Really, really disappointing. And uh, you know what? We're lucky to get away with it with a draw. And the only thing I can say is November's over. It's always poor. It's been poor. Very poor. But you know what? We've still got a chance of getting out of the Champions League. I don't know how. It's going to be really hard, but we've got a chance. And we're only two points off the top. So it's not complete doom and gloom. It's just the injury situation that's making things worse. But it's up to those players now to turn the corner. And they've got to do it, starting with Sunderland at the weekend. Um, don't forget to check out our shop. T-shirts like this one still available in there. Get all, there's loads of items in there for Christmas. A couple of great Christmas jumpers coming in there as well. So make sure you, you jump in and get some uh, great items in our shop. Please keep subscribing to Arsenal Fan TV. Uh, we really want to try and get up to 200,000 subscribers um, by the new year. So help us out with that one. 
and keep watching us here on Arsenal Fan TV. Don't forget all the videos and interviews from yesterday's game. Just go over to our website, go over to our website right now, or to our YouTube page, or to our Facebook page as well, and you can watch all of those videos. Thanks for watching Arsenal Fan TV. It's December coming up tomorrow. Hopefully, things will get better. Drop this year. Five points. Yeah, but it's still the same. We, we can't lost. win at these places. We, it's no good getting lost. a draw here. It'd it's no good. If we had lost, wouldn't it? Not wouldn't it be worse enough. if we was Not lost? So, sorry, go on. What are you saying, Rob? No, I was saying.